Welcome back to the show, everyone, where tonight we're trying to take things a little more seriously. <laughs> right, Jeff? Yeah, let's get down to business here, all right? Get down to business? Yeah. What do you mean by that? <laughs> 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 My tie's a little short tonight. You look, some, uh, some tie issues over there? Yeah, I think so. Look, I mean, it, it kind of feels like it's a little short. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it makes you look, you know, taller, taller. It's still pointing to my junk. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. You just gotta, you know, travel over the hill to get to it. I see that, yeah. Wow. What, man? What the hell? What Excuse the me. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to call room service. Hello, who's this? Uh, hello, sir, it's Jerry from room service. Oh, Jerry, I'd like to room service order, please. All right, go ahead, sir. I'd like to order a saucer of milk for the bitch called Jeff Peterson. All right. <laughs> One saucer of milk for Jeff the bitch. Got it, sir. Uh, and uh, anything else? No, you, you called me, sir. What do you want to Yeah, yeah. Uh, w would you like uh, fries or a drink with that? Uh, sure, yeah, I'd like some fries. Uh, uh, spicy fries. I'd like a little spice on those. Spicy, spicy fries. You like curly fries? Yeah, yeah, curly fries. And what, yeah, you want, would you like toast? A little toast is good. A little rye is nice. I like rye, sure. Right, okay. And uh, cheese? No, i got to stay away from the cheese, sir. i got got some dairy issues. I'll be uh, backed up. I'll be back. And uh, what about some uh, crystal meth? Oh, you know it, sir. Lay that on nice and thick. It's the only way we're going to get through this show. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is agreeing with you. Uh, is there anyone else uh, back there with you tonight? Yeah, there's a couple of friends here. I got this uh, Miriam uh, woman here. Hold on just a second. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, Craig. How are you? <laughs> hello, Miriam. <laughs> you know, you're sounding much better. I'm very happy that you're feeling well, Craig. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy you're there too, Miriam. I'm sitting at home watching you. This is happening live on television. Isn't that nice? <laughs> what the hell do you mean by that, Miriam? If that is your real name. Say, uh, my husband and I were wondering, how long do you think you can milk this? Now. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, hold on a sec. Excuse me a second. Don't you ever call me again, Mary. All right. Do you ever? Do you ever call me? I'll come. I'll come to your house. I'll you up, Mary. I will hunt you down like the dog you are. I will hunt you down. I'll watch you when you sleep. You. Oh, I'll kill you. Well, goodbye, Miriam. Take care now. Bye bye. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Wow. Good. Uh, mm. All right. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who put out many a bushfire during the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were out there. You were helping the environment. I was a volunteer but... fireman. That's right. <laughs> 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 you don't know your way around a poker, but you certainly were uh, very good back then. What, what is the deal with you tonight? Why? Sorry, why? Man. That's not sidekicking. You're not sidekicking. You're heckling. Regis Philbin called me and told me I should heckle you more. Well, that, I did get a call from Regis Philbin. This is true. Uh, where he said to me, I don't treat you with enough respect. And I'm was like, Regis, it's an appliance. Was it he called me to say to heckle you more. I think he's playing us against one another. That's what he's doing. So that you can take over the show. That's correct. Get him on the phone. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Craig. It's Regis. I How knew you know? it. Regis Philbin or Miriam, if that is your real name. No, you know, Craig, you're such a funny guy. I got to tell you, I love that Jeff Peterson. You got to start treating him better and with more respect. Excuse me a second, everyone. <laughs> Don't you ever call me, Regis. <laughs> I, will, I will find you. Excuse me a second. Excuse me a second. I will find you at whatever Hamptons tennis court you are on. And I will be sarcastic to you. You know, you're a really funny guy. But I'm going to cut you while you sleep. Well, got to go. All right, take care. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm doing this. I tried to do this, and I couldn't do it. I did this. Oh, 
That's the good stuff. Keep it right there. <laughs> All right. right. This is great. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Have we done yeah, this? It is, yeah, it's tweet yeah. mail time. All right, tweet mail time. All right. Uh, this is from Lisa in Villanova in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I don't know. Somewhere in America. Uh, who says, <laughs> Craig, I just found my son's secret stash of Halloween candy. Do you think it's still safe to eat? Of course. <laughs> sound like sinister Disney characters. Yeah, we do. Go ahead, kids. Yeah. Eat that candy corn. <laughs> uh -huh. Enjoy the candy, bitch. <laughs> I like that. I like when you do that. <laughs> uh, this is from Luan in uh, Maui in Hawaii. Oh, I love Hawaii. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, what do you like about Hawaii? Don Ho, man. The music of Don Ho. Music of Don Ho. Um... Wow. <laughs> Uh, dear Craig, uh, between Jeff, Secretary, Alfredo, and Sandra, who gets paid the most? <laughs> <laughs> we, we get paid for paid? this? <laughs> paid? What the hey, let me explain to you what this is. Not like any other show. Do you know the other talk shows where the guys get paid and they kind of like, oh, I'm just like you, but they're really super rich? Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is from Wayne in Montreal, Quebec. You ever been there? Montreal, yeah, very cool. French Canadians. Yeah. It's very good. That was very, very good. Did I say something there? No. I'm still I'm still on a lot of medication. Yeah, no, no. You said nothing. Dear uh, Craig, can we have a quiet moment to contemplate all that might have been if your flu didn't prevent you from coming to Canada? Well, first of all, it's not flu, it's a double sinus infection. Um and then we can have a quiet moment, I suppose. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, that's, that's enough. That's enough. That was a sad quiet moment. Yeah, that was really depressing. Do we have a sexy quiet moment? Patrick in Memphis, Tennessee. You ever been to Memphis? Oh, yeah. Good I place. love Memphis. You know that hotel they got there? The Peabody Hotel. The Peabody. Uh, Peabody, yeah. Not like the Peabody Award, which this show actually won. <laughs> but the uh, Peabody Hotel, they, every day they have these ducks walk across the, uh, the front of the hotel, and they walk right out, and then they walk back in again. <laughs> did they, did they, Take that, yeah. Harry Potter world! <laughs> Do they pay the ducks to do that? I mean, is that something they're paid to do? They don't get paid. The ducks are the uh, duck equivalent of us. That's sad, man. That's sad. Anyway, Patrick in Memphis, Tennessee says, uh, Craig, you know some of us are actually high when we watch your show, right? Yeah. Some of us are actually high when we make cracking show. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Am yeah. I right? This is from Candace in Lincoln, Nebraska. You ever been there? Sure have. What about Lincoln, Nebraska? Ever been there? <laughs> been there too, yeah. Yeah, yeah good times. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Craig, when you're not feeling well, is everyone on the show staff really nice to you? <laughs> <laughs> staff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is from Lorraine in New Brunswick. I don't know if you can tell, but Lorraine is a cockatoo. Or is it a parakeet? I can't tell. I I'll ask you, Jeff, because you've been around a cockatoo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that is, uh, that is definitely a cockatoo. Okay, good. Good to know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Craig, what is your position on the current debate? Oh, I can't even read it. Uh, this is from Earl in Boston, Massachusetts. I don't know if you can tell, but Earl is an owl. No. Uh, who? So what was that thing we were doing the other night about being a Bond villain with an owl instead of a pussy to stroke? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah like an owl. To, what was his name? 
Mr. Mr. Hootie. Mr. Hootie. Right, okay, I'll be, the, Hootie. I'll be the Bond villain with my L, Mr. Hootie. Right, all right. And you be James Bond. Okay, all right. Please don't m let Mr. Hootie alarm you, Mr. Bond. <laughs> He's I'm... an owl. <laughs> Say who? Say who? <laughs> who? <laughs> Mr. Hootie. Uh, who? I think it'd have been better if we hadn't already done it a lot. Remember when he was a he was a gay owl? Oh yeah, yeah. Do that again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Instead of instead of going who, he says hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. There you go. That's good. There you go. And finally, this is from Michael in Elmhurst in New York. He says, Craig, what do you think of the big jaywalking crackdown in New York City? Absolutely, I couldn't know uh, in the yeah. fullness of time. <laughs> I, I didn't know that was happening. Did you know that? How long is this uh, segment? <laughs> well... <laughs> Now, you're not even heckling, you're just, in, 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 you're just throwing in, you know, dissent. No, it's a, it's a legitimate question, I'm just wondering. <laughs> you know, I, you ask a good question, I really don't know the answer, because I care nothing for time and... I understand. You know why? Why is that? Because that's his job. <laughs> and if you, like, pan down a little bit from his desk and you'll see... But look, just pan down a little bit, he's got a little clock underneath him, look at that. Oh, look. Now, when that clock... <laughs> When that clock gets to zero, that's when I have to stop. <laughs> Better not go past that, I tell you. Because if that thing gets to zero, and I don't stop, then the show's all out of time. So, you know, it was when I started out in show business, <laughs> I realized getting punctuality was what it was all about. And with that spontaneous round of applause, I could have actually stopped the entire act right there. And yet here we are. <laughs> Continuing this is the dis... What's the word I'm looking for? Discussion. I was going to look actually for discomfort. Discourse. Disco what do you say? Discomfort. <laughs> Let's talk about your early days in vaudeville. Now that particularly interests me. Well, I remember back in... <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>